so we're getting going on the bus this fine Sunday morning. Um, today we're trying to tackle the ceiling. So uh, as you can see, we started peeling off some of this cheap styrofoam. It's really getting in our way. Uh, but we have all these fun steel panels that they are. We've got a couple down there, up, and then they run up the entire passenger side of the bus. Uh, makes it really hard, and there's actually a layer of that cheap styrofoam underneath it. Um, so today's task is to get the ceilings cleared. Um, we couldn't do that during the initial demo because the floor started collapsing on us. Uh, so I'm gonna break out the grinder, I'm gonna take those out, and we've been storing a bunch of stuff on the bus. Uh, Christy actually has it mostly taken care of at this point. Uh, but she's getting that cleared off, so we have some space uh, to actually work. Uh, not a lot of space in our 88 square feet. So uh, we're going to get going, and we'll give you guys updates later. So we got a little distracted today. Um, we kind of ran into some issues taking out the foam and the sheet metal. So we decided we were going to clean up the bus, get all the styrofoam we've ripped out already, and then do a layout um, just so we could get a visualization. So here's what we have, and I think what is going to be the final layout. Um, over here, where the stool and the kills are, is our kitchenette. Um, on the left side, we'll have a sink. On the right side, we bought a camp chef stove, and we're actually going to have a piece of the countertop that sits over top of it to extend our work surface. Just to the right of that, uh, we have our little bathroom. Um, not much. Uh, we aren't doing a shower, so it simply has to contain our nature's head, and we plan on just doing kind of a curtain right in front of that. The reason that is so small was to try to buy ourselves a few extra inches so we could fit our queen size bed in here. And then we'll rotate around to this side. So uh, on this back panel, in this back corner over here, we are going to have our uh, fridge freezer, DC fridge freezer, that's going to sit underneath the couch. Um, this entire length will be one couch, and then we'll have a half wall on this edge, and we will use that um, for a little bit of storage, as well as power supply uh, for Christy when she's hanging out, as uh, I don't think we've actually discussed it on our channel, but Christy's not entirely comfortable driving the bus at this point. So right now the plan is I will be doing most of the driving going forward. Um, so we've got that. Uh, this week I am going to attempt to tackle this whole area up front. Uh, we've got the subfloor on the main part of the bus. Haven't done that. And there's a giant hole still in the floor of the bus that I haven't yet dealt with. So we put a garbage bag there so we don't keep dropping styrofoam down there. Uh, well, anyway, that's where things are today. Uh, it's about to thunder, so we're just trying to get some stuff inside. And we will be uh, working on the foam once everything is all packed up. Good morning everyone, so uh, I do have a little bit of time to work on the bus this morning uh, for my meetings and uh, my work day to really get going, so uh, I'm going to take another crack at this fun foam situation we've got going on. Got myself a new little tool last night, uh, I think the more compact nature of it might help us a little bit um, in these tighter corners, so uh, we're going to give it a go. Um, but yeah, here we go.
so it is not pretty at all uh, i'm just gonna preface it by saying that but we finally have that bolt flange mess extracted. So here we go. See that right there? Yep. Flange and bolt are actually still attached there, but I've slid them out of the way enough where I can get a washer, a bolt, and a whole crap load of sealant around that to make sure we don't leak. And hopefully, no problems. Anyway, uh, back to the inside to scrape some more insulation. Hey everyone, um, so we didn't get much of this next bit on film, uh, unfortunately. Um, it just kind of all hit us all at the same time. So I went inside to start scraping that foam like I talked about in the last video. When I got inside, I grabbed my measuring tape and I was going to take some quick measurements on where bolt holes would need to go once we drilled through the roof uh, to install our mounts for the solar. Um, at this point, I realized that I had completely overlooked uh, this part of the conversion when we swapped the 100 watt Renogy panels out for these 410 watt uh, residential panels. Um, they just take up a incredible amount of real estate on the roof. And though I thought I had enough space uh, based on where bolt holes had to go, uh, I didn't. <laughs> so we had to rethink some things. Um, we have both a max air fan and we had already installed our skylight. Uh, that skylight is coming out. Uh, we're just waiting on a delete conversion panel from spoolie.com and we will be uh, pulling that and installing our max fan in that location rather than cutting a separate hole. Um, does mean we're gonna, we wasted a little bit of money on that skylight, but uh, it's better to do it correctly and make sure everything fits rather than try to squeeze everything. Um, I, we had some sketchy ideas on how to mount these panels and still keep it, but that ultimately wasn't going to work. Um, and we thought we were at a point where we could move forward on the bus at that point. And then uh, some things in our personal life uh, kind of changed as well. So this morning I'm on my way down to Salem, New Jersey. Um, as some of you may recall from our previous posts and our YouTube videos, we have been planning for a while to buy some property, build our own house on there, and um, some outbuildings uh, to run our business out of. Um, as well as having a place to build our next bus and work on this one. So we had found a lot that we thought was going to be absolutely perfect up in Mount Laurel. Um, it's about half an hour north of where we currently live and about five minutes from where Christy works. Um, it seemed absolutely perfect uh, and it was just barely under our budget. We had a couple thousand dollars to spare on our land budget but it was just barely going to work for us. We walked the property a couple of times, checked it out, heavily wooded, so it would require us to clear it, uh, but it was right next door to the Mount Laurel School System's bus depot, which we thought was kind of a sign for us. Um, as it turned out, we just, we can't work with the current owner. Uh, we. We can't trust anything he says at this point. Um, he decided uh, once he found out we were interested that no, um, you can't just buy the one parcel. He has an abutting parcel and it's going to make us buy that parcel if we want the front parcel. Um, now that parcel is not buildable. Uh, it's way overpriced. <laughs> he has it priced at the exact same point. Uh, but you can only build on one. So we knew that was just a no-go for us. 
and so we decided to move on. We looked at some other properties last night after Christy got out of work. None of those were going to quite do it for us either. Um, either they were in a bad location. Uh, in one case, we pulled down the road to look at a property and there were three or four Confederate flags on the houses leading up to the property we were looking at, so that immediately turned Christy off. Um, so we were kind of left at square one, and on the ride home, Christy started searching Zillow again. Found this nice piece of land that's about two acres down in uh, down in Salem, New Jersey. Uh, so it's it's almost an hour away from the original property, but uh, it's a gorgeous location. It looks like from the pictures online that it was actually a farm at some point. Uh, so it's perfectly level, cleared land. Uh, and if that's the case, it's well under our budget. We can actually take some of that money and put it towards our solar farm that we will be building out there. Uh, and we're gonna go from there, but uh, I'm on my way there now to see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna go get some pictures around Salem so that Christy can kind of take a look and see if it's an area she might be interested in. And then if we do like it, I'm probably gonna go back home after she gets out of work and pick her up and we'll come back down here so that she can kind of experience it for herself. Um, so that being said, we'll, uh, we'll let you know how it goes. So we'll wait and come back and walk it with the realtor, but this is the property. Just have a couple of little trees and cut a driveway right through here so we can uh, maintain a little privacy there still but then out back there all that farmland that's uh, perfectly cleared and perfectly level would be our property so christy do you want to tell the fine people out there why exactly we want to move out of this house so the dishes that i washed or thought i washed the other day I had filled up the dishwasher and the pod had clearly been used, it had clearly been run, and every single dish was still dirty. None of it had been cleaned. So I have now spent over an hour hand washing all of the dishes that were supposed to be cleaned the other day. And what about our fridge that's been definitely working at 100% since last year when we moved in? Yeah, we've been having issues with the fridge since since we moved in. It likes to leak if it's too full. Um, it will form puddles on that first shelf. And then only once it's completely empty will it actually work. Yep, but our fine landlord has determined that since it still keeps food cold, there is nothing wrong with it. So there's that, and then there's the upstairs toilet situation. Yeah, the upstairs toilet has been leaking since a couple of months after we moved in. Um, the water here is also very hard, so both toilets that we have form a nice little black ring around it if you leave it for too long. Um, and we've had a towel around the base of the upstairs toilet for probably a year now. Yep, our landlord's great at his maintenance on this place. So if you didn't know, there's plenty of good reasons why we wanna get out of here. So there are actually a couple other issues that Christy didn't mention um, that I can quickly shoot through. Um, again, this, uh, this house isn't an ideal living situation for us. Um, if we go start in the upstairs, uh, he closed off the only window in the bathroom so he could install a mirror 
leaving absolutely no ventilation because the vent fan simply vents into the rafters with no external ventilation after that. Uh, we can come downstairs here to the downstairs bathroom. Um, a couple months ago, all of a sudden nothing was working in there and couldn't figure out why. I had no electric at any of the outlets, no lights, no nothing. Uh, there had been this random extension cord that was plugged into one of the outlets in the workshop area of the basement and I had unplugged it so I could plug in our compressor to do a little bit of work on the bus. Well, as it turned out, uh, once I traced back the issues, um, that plug, even though uh, it was an ungrounded plug, somehow provided all the power for the lights and then the grounded outlet, supposedly, uh, that are in our downstairs bathroom. Um, not anywhere close to code, uh, scary in fact. Um, so, uh, we've got that. Oh, and then there's uh, the OSHA disaster that is our backyard. Um, our town used to have this old sewer system that ran kind of down the middle of the property lines uh, of our street on the back end. Um, and they abandoned that years ago. Uh, most of the people in our area have filled it in with dirt, cement, something. Uh, but our landlord chose to do nothing with it. And so every time we would drive the lawnmower over it, it would collapse just a little bit more and a little bit more. Um, to kind of save ourselves from fully collapsing it, uh, we actually had a wishing well that my father-in-law made us for our wedding. Um, it was to put cards and gifts in. Uh, and uh, we took that and we kind of propped it up over the hole. Um, that way it just kind of covers it, keeps everyone away from it. Uh, and that way no one falls in and snaps their leg off. What's wrong? Gary. Gary. What's wrong? Your check. Yeah.